Look, there's the police station. We've wanted to become police officers for a long time. Let's go today and apply for a job as police officers. A police officer just went into the station, and he should hire us. Let's go. Maybe they'll take us. We probably need to pass some tests. We're ready for that because we want to earn money and protect our village. Guys, I don't want to hire you as police officers, but you have every right to become one. You need to pass some tests. Let's go and I'll show you. Of course, we will pass any test. We've wanted to become police officers for a long time, and it has been our dream. We will do anything to become police officers. We are ready to go through any trials to fulfill our dream and protect the villagers who live in this village. Wow, this is a training ground. I've always dreamed of being on such a ground. You can exercise here without paying for anything. Everything is free. You just need to train and be very strong. I always wanted to go to the gym, but I never had the time for it. This gym will now be our personal gym. We can come here and have a great time. Let's train a little here. We'll do various exercises to prepare to become police officers. I don't know how basketball relates to police training, but if it's necessary, we're ready to do anything to become police officers. I see there are great tasks here that I definitely want to complete. There are jumps, dumbbells, everything you need to be a real police officer. Let's go train a bit here. Look, here we need to run on this circular track that was drawn for us. We need to run many laps. Let's run because it's necessary to pass the tests prepared for us to become police officers. I don't know exactly what other tests there are, but I'm very curious about what else we need to do. I see there are kettlebells here. We probably need to use them to increase the strength in our arms to become very powerful. There is a pull-up bar where we can do a lot of pull-ups to build strength. There are many different things. I see a punching bag that we can hit to strengthen our punches, treadmills to run on and cover many kilometers, which will build strong legs to chase any criminals who break the law. We will train and be able to catch them even if they run away. We will be very powerful. Oh, wow! Look, it's an obstacle course, and we need to go through it using parkour. We used to do parkour in our childhood, so this shouldn't be too difficult for us. I think we can jump through it. I see we need a lot of leg strength to jump over these obstacles, but I think we can make it to the top. Then we need to jump down into the pool without injuring our legs or arms. And then, it looks like there's a very challenging test where we need to swim through this swamp. It's very hard to swim in it, and you need a lot of strength, but this is necessary to ensure a police officer is strong enough to catch a criminal, even if the criminal is running on rooftops or swimming in a swamp or river. I don't know where the criminal might try to escape, but I know we have to pass this test. If we can't pass it, we won't be accepted into the police force. I see you're doing quite well. You're good at parkour, which will be useful in your work as a police officer. Thank you for praising my skills, which I learned over many years. I went to the gym to become good at parkour. I spent a lot of time jumping on rooftops when I was little. I loved running on rooftops. It's so fun to jump and have a good time. Now we need to swim through this strange swamp with a strong current that was created to test us. But I can swim through it. It's not difficult for me because I often went to the river to swim where there was also a strong current. I swam well there. Now we need to do different things. Let's train while the officer prepares another test for us. We need to wait for him. He should come soon and tell us what we will do next, what the next test will be. We have to pass them. We have to become police officers, be strong, and protect our village and all the people who live in it. Yes, we are very ready to take the next test. Whoever wins this competition will become a police officer. You know that I will win because I have more strength in combat than you. You always lost to me in our fights in the yard, so I will win. Don't doubt it! It's good that we have these wooden swords! I know you can't beat me! You're too weak! You always lose! And you'll lose now too! And I will become a police officer! It will be a great honor for me to defeat you and become the great police officer of our village! You will always be the ordinary boy who fulfills my requests because I will be a police officer and have the right to use you for personal purposes. So surrender while you can still walk. All right, I surrender, I won't win. 
Now you need to fight zombies that will be deliberately summoned. And whoever destroys them, whoever shows a lot of courage, will become a policeman. Everyone. Start executing this task. So I understood, but I can't do it. They are too strong. My friend was severely injured just now, so this battle will be very difficult for me. I can't fight them. Help me. I will hide from them. I won't be able to defeat them all. They are too angry with me. They will easily destroy me. I have very little health. I couldn't restore it. I need to go to the hospital, otherwise I will die. I don't want to die. This job is not so important to me. I want to live. I will try to fight a little, but I won't be able to destroy them all. Thank you to my friend for helping me. It was very strong for me. I need it because I have very little life left and I could die. We need to become policemen. They should hire us because we were able to pass all the tests they prepared for us. Mikey, come with me. You pass these tests, you will now become a policeman. Let's go. I will give you a new uniform. And JJ couldn't pass the tests, so he will not be a policeman. Goodbye. Oh no, they didn't hire me as a policeman. I dreamt of being a policeman. Now, my friend will be the one working as a policeman. Okay, let him work. I will stay here and sabotage people's gardens, steal all their things, and no one will know it was me. My friend, now a policeman, will look for who did it. But no one will tell him because no one will see me. I'll hide everything at home, and no one will be able to say I stole. My friend will work all day. Maybe even two days to find the person who stole all these vegetables from the people living in this village. If he can't find who did it, he'll be fired, and he won't be a policeman anymore. Then we'll be friends again. If they don't want to hire me as a policeman, I'll have to watch when my friend goes to the police station to search for the culprit. And I'll watch from afar so no one sees me. Here comes my friend. He must be here already. And people have seen that all their vegetables have been stolen from the garden, so they must call the police. Let the policeman come. Where is the policeman? He's not in the village. He's probably still at the station and hasn't had a chance to come see what happened in the village. Oh, he's here. Why is he hitting people? This is wrong. He should have been looking for the person who stole the vegetables, not hitting people. Why is he hitting people? What happened to him? Has he gone crazy or something? He's breaking windows. This is all wrong. Stop. You. Who are you? You should be upholding the law, not breaking it. What are you doing here, policeman? You shouldn't be doing this. How did this happen? What is he doing? It's all unclear. He shouldn't be doing this. What happened to him? The uniform has messed him up. Now he's doing something incomprehensible. Why is he breaking people's houses? This shouldn't be happening. The police should be protecting the houses and the residents of this village. But he's doing the opposite. Oh no, he's playing with matches. This is even worse. He'll set the whole village on fire. What is he doing? It's all unclear to me. I need to somehow stop him. How do I stop him? He has a uniform. I have no right to interfere with his actions. But I need to somehow stop him. I don't even know how. Hey, stop, this is wrong. What are you doing? No, I won't be able to stop him like this. I need to hide from him because the situation is very bad and I can't handle it. I need to call for an ambulance to help him. His head must have gone and he's become abnormal. He needs treatment. I need to call the hospital to have him treated. This has never happened before. Hooray! The police and an ambulance have arrived. They can't help my friend. He's completely out of his mind. He's doing really abnormal things. He was destroying the village, hitting people, and trying to set the village on fire. You might not believe me, but he really needs help. He's lost his mind. With those uniforms, he's become abnormal. He needs to be caught and restrained. I don't know. He's dangerous to society. He can't be a policeman. He needs to be locked up somewhere so he can't do such things ever again. What will you say, Mr. Policeman? Can you help him somehow? He's doing really bad things. Yes, we will try to help him. We will take him to the station and deal with him, don't worry. Okay, if you say everything will be fine, then please treat him because he never did anything like this before. I don't know what happened to him. The uniform affected him this way. You hired him as a policeman but didn't hire me, and that's why he became so bad. I see the doctor gave him some kind of injection. Do you know what kind of injection it is? He didn't tell me anything. 
What will happen next? Will my friend get better? Will he return to his normal state and work properly? Yes, I'm fine. You don't need to worry. Why did you call an ambulance for me? Everything was fine, but okay, let it be. I feel much better now, and I don't want to break anything or hurt anyone anymore. Now, they will issue a sentence for me. I don't want to be imprisoned for my actions. I won't do such things again. It's very bad, and it shouldn't be done. You turned out to be a good person and a true friend. I need to reward you for your actions. Well done. Keep it up. I will give you some things to have. We might take you into the police force. Be careful with your friend, and I will let you know if we hire you to work with us in the police. Hooray, thank you. We won't let you down. Everything will be fine. We can work if needed. Come to our house anytime. We are always free and can talk with you, even at night. Let's go home, my friend. We need to figure out what's happening in the village. You ruined a lot, and now people won't be friends with you. Let's go home. I have some things I took today and wanted to do something, but it didn't work out because you were doing strange things. Here, take your things that the policeman gave us. Look, this will be our weapon. If we get into the police force, we will be very cool. I would also like to serve in the police like you, to have such a cool uniform. I think maybe for my deeds today, saving our village, I might get a uniform and also become a policeman, wearing such a cool uniform and protecting people. But in our house, strange things are happening. What are these people doing here? Get out of here, people. You don't need to be here. This is our house and we live here. Don't touch anything. Our house is being attacked by people and they don't like what you did today with their houses, almost burning down the village. This is all your fault. If you hadn't been such a fool, I managed to arrange it. You are hired. Here is your uniform. Come to work tomorrow. Yes, hooray. I got the job. I will also be a policeman. The uniform is beautiful. I will also look very cool and protect our village. This is a victory. Tomorrow we will be working as two officers. Let's go to sleep now. We need to wake up early for duty. Good night, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.